Samsung is one of the most recognizable names in technology, and for a good reason. The South Korean tech giant has pushed the boundaries of innovation, revolutionizing the way we interact with our devices. But despite all that success, Samsung has had its fair share of blunders. Here are some of the biggest tech failures in Samsung's history. The Samsung Galaxy Note 7 recall in 2016 was a major crisis for the company. The recall was issued due to a defect in the phone's battery that caused some units to catch fire or explode. This led to incidents of property damage, personal injury, and even flight bans on the device. Samsung initially issued a recall of the affected units and replaced them with new ones, but it was later found that the replacement phones were also prone to overheating and catching fire. As a result, Samsung was forced to recall all Galaxy Note 7 units and discontinue production of the device. The recall cost for Samsung was around $5 billion and damaged the company's reputation. It also led to stricter regulations for smartphone batteries and increased scrutiny of consumer electronics manufacturers. The Samsung Galaxy Fold launch in 2019 was marred by issues with the foldable phone screen. The device was intended to be a revolutionary new type of smartphone, with a foldable display that allows the phone to be used as both a traditional smartphone and a tablet. However, reviewers and early adopters who received the device reported that the foldable screen was prone to breaking and malfunctioning. Samsung initially delayed the launch of the device to address the issues, but it was later found that the problems persisted even with the revised units. As a result, Samsung was forced to recall all Galaxy Fold units and discontinue the device. The incident was considered a major setback for Samsung and the foldable phone industry as a whole, as it raised concerns about the durability and reliability of foldable devices. Samsung worked on the issue and relaunched the device a few months later with an improved hinge design and additional layers of protection. But it took time for the company to recover its reputation and for the market to regain confidence in the foldable technology. Bixby is Samsung's virtual assistant, which is designed to help users interact with their Samsung devices using voice commands. It was first introduced in 2017 with the Samsung Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus, and has since been included in all Samsung flagship devices. Bixby is designed to be able to perform a variety of tasks, such as making phone calls, sending text messages, opening apps, and controlling other connected devices. It also has a feature called Bixby Vision, which allows users to use the camera to search for information or perform tasks, such as identifying an object or translating text. However, Bixby has received mixed reviews since its launch. While some users have found it to be a useful addition to their Samsung devices, others have criticized it for being less advanced and less responsive than other virtual assistants, such as Google Assistant and Amazon Alexa. Some users also complained about the button on the phone dedicated to Bixby, which is hard to remap or disable. Additionally, Bixby's language support is limited compared to other virtual assistants, and it also lacks the third-party integration capabilities that other virtual assistants have. Samsung is working on improving Bixby and adding new features, but it is still considered to be a work in progress. Another tech fail of Samsung was the release of their smart TV's privacy policy that allowed the TV to listen to users' conversations and share the voice commands with third parties. This was a huge privacy concern, as users were unaware that their conversations were being recorded and shared. Samsung eventually had to revise their policy to ensure that users' data was better protected. Samsung's Galaxy S5 release was also a big tech fail. The device had a fingerprint scanner that was easily tricked by using a picture of a fingerprint. This meant that anyone with a picture of the user's fingerprint could easily unlock their device. Samsung had to quickly update the device's security measures to make sure that it was more secure. The Galaxy Gear was released in 2013, and it was the first smartwatch from Samsung. Despite its impressive design and features, the device was criticized for its poor battery life, limited functionality, and high price. This caused the device to fail to achieve commercial success. The Galaxy Round was another ambitious product from Samsung, released in 2013. It was one of the first smartphones with a curved display. 
but the device failed to gain traction in the market due to its high price and limited functionality. The Galaxy Beam was an interesting concept from Samsung. It was intended to be a unique and innovative device, allowing users to project images and videos onto walls or other surfaces. However, the Galaxy Beam did not achieve commercial success and was considered a failure. One of the main reasons for the failure of the Galaxy Beam was that the built-in projector was not as bright or clear as users expected. The projected image was often dim and difficult to see, especially in well-lit environments. Additionally, the projector's battery life was not very long, which limited its usefulness. Unfortunately, the device did not generate enough sales and was soon discontinued. The Galaxy Alpha was a high-end device released in 2014, featuring a metallic design and impressive hardware. However, the device failed to generate sufficient sales and was soon discontinued due to its high price and limited functionality.